Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us look at some vector operations in two dimensions and let us look at some applications related to these procedures. So, in, in physics, we have seen that work is defined as force times the distance. Work is defined as the amount of force which is applied on an object and that moves it to a distance d. To explain this um, in, in, in terms of a figure, if we have an object if we have an object like this and if there is a force which is applied on this object and if this object moves from this position to another location like that and if the distance between these two points is d and if this is the force which is applied on the object then work which is represented by w force which is represented by f and the distance which is represented by d can be stated as w is equal to f times d the amount of work performed on the object is equal to the amount of force with which the object is being being pushed or pulled uh, times the distance the object moves okay so that is the the basic definition of work coming in from physics in terms of vectors the work by a constant force f a work by a constant force f we can represent force as a vector as its point of application moves along a vector d we can uh, we can represent the force as a vector and the, the amount of distance it moves as a vector where we can represent the the distance as the magnitude and that is represented as lowercase d therefore in terms of vectors work can be defined as w is equal to vector f dot vector d vector f dot vector d it is a dot product between the force vector and the distance vector so when we talk about uh, the work we want to also talk about the units which we want to measure that in so therefore the units in metric units in metric units work is measured in terms of Newton meters we know that one Newton meters is equal to one joule also represented as J one Newton meter meter is equal to one joule in the US units the work is measured in terms of foot pounds okay so these are two different units which we can measure work in so in my next presentation we shall take a an example and then try to see uh, how to f find the work when the force and distance are given to us